Hi everybody! Hi. Today uh, we have someone different. Ashley is here. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley and I are going to be giving you guys a little introduction on Sailor Shikiori. We have the much awaited, the long awaited Sailor Shikiori Ama Oto Sound of Rain series pens that just arrived. And so we thought it would be a good time to kind of do a little recap. Um, there's a lot of Sailor Shikiori products out there and you probably hear us say Sailor Shikiori a lot. What does it mean and like what exactly entail, like is encompassed under Sailor Shikiori? So Sailor Shikiori, actually the name Shikiori means the colors of the four seasons. So it is a series of collections of many different things that have been released by Sailor over the years and they're all inspired by the colors of the four seasons. So what you'll see when you're looking at these products as we're introducing them is very beautiful colors, um, a lot of which have been inspired by the different colors, um, very natural colors mm -hmm. of the four seasons as they change over the course of the year. So um, hopefully you guys will enjoy this video and yeah. um, Ashley's gonna talk a little bit about which collections exactly we're gonna be talking about in the video. Yeah, so we're gonna go into all of the different Shikiori collections that have ever been released under like the Shikiori theme and name. And they first start out with the fountain pen inks, Shikiori inks. And then based off of those inks, they release the Shikiori markers, the brush and fine tip markers, which I love these are so good. And I made the color guides for both of these. So That's right. I, I, I feel like I'm pretty familiar with these yeah, colors sailor. and I like them a lot. <laughs> yeah. I, I called you Sailor. Um, <laughs> Ashley has spent a lot of time with the Sailor Shikiori inks and the markers. So I thought she'd be the perfect person to tell yes. you guys more about them. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> cool. I, I do like them a lot. And they're all based off of the colors of the four seasons. and you can kind of see them split up into the spring, summer, autumn, and winter colors in mm -hmm. all of those um, inks. And then after that, they released their first Shikiori fountain pen series, which we'll talk about later in the video, so stick around for that. Um, and that one was called Setsu, Setsu Getsu, Getsu Soraha. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell we've been practicing? <laughs> <laughs> and that one um, follows all the four seasons. There's one pen for each season, and they're all very beautiful. Then they released another fountain pen series later on, which is the fairy tale series, which is my personal favorite. Mm. And I talk about that a little bit later on in the video, and they're very shimmery, very beautiful. And then at the very end of the video, stick around to see us talk about <gasps> the rain series that we've been waiting for for so long. Forever. No, they're finally here. Yay! And we're so excited about them. So stick around to hear us talk about, about those. We'll save secret. that for last. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> so, Sailor released a lot of different Shikiori collections. And the first Shikiori collection we're going to talk about are the inks. And they first released them as just a set of 16 back in 2010 mm. and it was called 16 Nights nice Dream actually mm. and it's a very pretty name so pretty right and then later released four more inks and so that made it a full set of 20 that we have today mm. back in 2017 they released these four extra inks and that was called the water surface under the moonlight I know so poetic I love it <laughs> um, so the four additional inks that were introduced to add on to the 16 the collection of 16 inks that were released in 2010 were these four colors here in front of me. So it's the Yozakura, the Yodaki, Yonaga, and Shimoyo colors. And one of each of these colors corresponds with one each of the four seasons. So Yozakura means cherry blossoms at night, and that's actually the spring color. And it's a very pretty, it's actually my favorite Sailor Shikiori color, and it's probably one of my favorite ink colors of all time. It's um, it's like a very uh, purpley pink, like mauve, yeah. taupe. Um, I have a hard time 
pinning down what exact color it is, but it's definitely so beautiful. It's like dusty Ooh. blush. Like dusty, I like that word, right? dusty. dusty. Yeah, dusty is a really good word to describe it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really pretty. Just think of cherry blossoms at night and that's just like spot on. Well yeah, done. I think they really match the <laughs> really color really well to the name. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so the next color is the summer color and that is Yodaki. And that means summer fire or um, night fire. And it is like a, like a fiery maroon red, very intense red. It's very pretty as well. And that's the summer color. And the next color after that is Yonaga and that's the fall color. Yonaga means long night. And so the color is actually a very, very dark, intense, beautiful blue black. So that's the Yonaga. And then lastly, we have the Shimoyo, which is the winter color. And Shimoyo means frosted night. So that's actually, um, if you think of, I, I often get the Shimoyo and the Yonaga mixed up, which yeah. are the winter and the fall blues. Um, because the Shimoyo, which is the winter color, is actually lighter than the fall blue, which is, which is like a Darker, darker blue, like um, deeper blue. Yeah, they're, they're both very like, like, like dark blues. But Yonaga's a little bit more blue, violety blue, and then Shimoyo is a little bit more like, like green, earthy yeah. kind of blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, these are the four colors that were added on to the original 16. And when these were released in 2017, um, they were actually released alongside some fountain pens as well. You want to yeah. tell us a little bit about them? So what's fun <laughs> about these fountain pens is that they're actually steel nibs, but they're only available in Japan, which is so sad, but they correspond with each of the ink colors. Each steel nib fountain pen goes with one of the ink colors. So there's like mm -hmm. the pink one for Yosakura. So beautiful. I they're know, all very I pretty. I love it. I've only seen pictures of them, but one day I hope to see one in person. If anybody has one, please bring me one in person so I can see <laughs> them. Um, so we we primarily know Shikiori pens here in the U.S. as gold nib pens, but these are available with steel nibs, and I think they're the steel nibs are slightly different than the steel nib pens from Staler that we know here, such as the ones in the Compass series. Um, from what it looks like online, the pictures, like the feed is a little different, the inscriptions are a little bit different. There's just like a little more detailing mm -hmm. on the nib. Um, so I would like to try that nib. That's something that I would like to do. So like I said, if anybody has one, I'd love to try one. Yeah, that'd be so cool. <laughs> um, okay, so those are the Sailor Shikiori inks, the very first thing that um, Sailor introduced under the Shikiori name in 2010. And following that in, uh, what year was it? I think 20 in 2018, 18. they released these Shikiori markers that were based off of the inks. Mm -hmm. And so they all come in the exact same colors as the inks. And it's, it's like very nice colors for markers. Yeah, like, like kind of unusual. You mm -hmm. don't really expect them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when I was making the color guide for them, like they, they match pretty well, the, the inks and the markers, mm -hmm. I think, in my opinion. Yeah. They match really nicely. Like one of my favorites is Kinmokuse and the the marker is like so vibrantly yellow. That's a good that's a good good orange. Yeah. Yellowy orange, mm -hmm. I feel like. And I feel like in the fountain pen ink it's also really vibrant. Yes. Like it's it's very intense. So yeah. Very good set of markers. Yeah, I really like these markers. I think the brush tip is like sort of the perfect hardness um, and a really good size. Mm -hmm. I feel like with um, just like comparing some of the other brush markers I know we have like the touch sign mm -hmm. which is also really good but these brush the shikiori brush tip is like larger and a little bit softer they're very flexible yeah very flexible brushes. but not so soft that you lose control mm -hmm. and um I don't know I've seen you use them with great success yeah they're, they're balanced <laughs> very well I like them yeah like Ashley's them. a really good color <laughs> um and I have seen her use them very well <laughs> Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're very easy to use, and I like that they also have a fine tip on the other mm -hmm. end, so that if you're, you know, doing some fancy brush lettering on one side, you can switch over to the fine tip on the other side and do some, like, fine writing or just regular journaling, whatever you're writing alongside your lettering, I guess. Yeah, these are a really good tool for, for bullet journaling, I feel like. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So for anybody who hasn't tried one, you can try them here next time you're here. 
Um, so those are the Sailor Shikiori brush markers that are that come in the exact same colors as the Sailor Shikiori inks. All right, next up, we are going to talk about the first Sailor Shikiori Gold Nib Fountain Pen series that was released, and they were actually, these were actually released in uh, 2018. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Mm -hmm. I'm like really bad with dates, but <laughs> Ashley is on it with the dates. So um, in 2018, I think I think this is probably the Sailor Shikiori that most people um, are most familiar with, as they think of when we when we say Sailor Shikiori, they think of Oh, Sailor's Gold Nib Fountain Pens. Mm -hmm. um, so the first set of them were actually released in 2018. And so these were four pens. And once again, the running theme is the colors of the four seasons. So we have one pen associated with each of the four seasons. And we're sadly sold out right now <laughs> yeah. of a lot of pens. I only have one pen of the four in front of me, but maybe we'll put some kind of we'll put a photo picture here. here. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, so you guys will be able to see them. So the spring pen that was released in the first Sailor Shikiori Fountain Pen series was actually called the Haruzora, and it means spring sky blue. So it's a beautiful kind of sky blue fountain pen, and it is a a Sailor Pro Gear Slim, just like all Sailor Shikiori fountain pens. Um, it's a Sailor Pro Gear Slim and it comes in a medium fine nib. Um, the next one that we're talking about after the spring fountain pen is the summer one. And this is the Manyo, which is a really beautiful like dark green. And this is the one that I have in front of me. It's almost like a metallic -y, dark green it's not a demonstrator mm -hmm. at all it has these black finial caps and this is actually my favorite one from the from the collection and oh, really yeah oh, nice yeah and you're kind of wondering like green why like why is that summer such a dark green why yeah. such a dark green summer but it's actually it stands for or it's inspired by the lush green leaves of summer so if you think of like when you're in like July and August um, a lot of the plants outside in the foliage they're like dark green because they're like fully grown in they're not like the light green little sprouts little buds yeah, anymore, little, yeah. yeah little buds that come in the springtime so that's kind of why it is a beautiful lush dark green um, so that's the summer one and next what's the next season fall <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, yeah what is following summer <laughs> um, so the fall is actually the fall fountain pen is the Meigetsu and that is a creamy fountain pen with a little bit of like a golden luster to it and that is inspired by the full autun moon and that's also, I mean, like all of these pens they're are all just very like, pretty, oh my you know? god. <laughs> when it's based off of the seasons <laughs> and yeah. like nature, nature. Yeah. It, it's really nice. Yes, um, so that one was really very well done as well. And the last season, Winter, is actually the Yuki Tsubaki. And this pen is sadly, it was, it was announced that it would be discontinued. I don't know why. I'm very sad. Yeah, yeah that I one's think, my favorite. Yeah, it's, I think it was a popular one. Yeah, it's very pretty. You know, it's, yeah. it's um, based off of the camellia flower. And the the body has like little pink flecks in it to you know represent like the flower petals, but it's still very like light colored overall. Like, it's overall white, yeah, with white. like pink red flecks, mm -hmm. and it it the name means camellia in snow. Oh, so that's so why it's good. like the red peeking out from just a blanket of white. I think the imagery of these is like very strong mm -hmm. and very impressive, mm -hmm. um, and they translated to the pens really really well. So those four are the first Sailor Shikiori fountain pens, Pro Gear Slim, Medium Fine, 14K nibs. And the next set was released when? In 2020. Oh, wow. Ashley with yeah, the date. Yeah, I got the date. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it today. <laughs> but yeah, the next series is the Fairy Tale series released in 2020. And all of the different pens in this series correspond again to the four seasons. Mm -hmm but they represent a fairy tale that happens in each season. So it starts with the Dragon Palace, which is a fairy tale that occurs in spring. Mm -hmm. It's a very lovely, like, light greenish color. And you have one. I do. It's, um, they describe it as a jade green. Mm -hmm. That's where mm -hmm. the inspiration comes from in the fairy tale. And I think that's a really good description of the green. And it's definitely, um, 
when I saw this pin, I knew I had to have it, and it's still it's still like a favorite of mine for sure. Yeah, it's very pretty, and I love the speckles in all of these, like the little glitter flecks. And um, the next one, the summer one, is called Vega, and it represents the fairy tale of Vega in the summer. Mm -hmm. And this one is very dark because this fairy tale happens like at night in the night sky so i love how the glitter flecks you know kind of represent like the stars mm -hmm. and how the the lovers are meeting during the summer summer yeah. night uh, <laughs> i love it that one's that one's so i think so, so good of the four because they all have glitter specks of the four the glitter specks in the vega are most prominent because mm -hmm. of like the dark body the dark background. um yeah and it really does translate as like the the summer sky it's yeah summer pretty. sky very nice yeah and then the next one in autumn is the fairy tale of princess kaguya and i mean that's it happens in autumn yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then my favorite one is grateful crane which happens in the winter and it's a very like light powder blue and I, I really like mm, how that's like your signature yeah, color. Yeah, that's like my favorite color. Yeah. I even have it a little bit on my mm, shirt today. Yeah. I, I, I love that color <laughs> so much. And if I was to ever get one, I would probably get the Grateful Crane, Grateful Crane. color, mm. which corresponds to winter. And again, all of these are Sailor Pro Gear Slim. They're all 14K nibs and they all come in medium fine. Again, just like the other ones. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, the moment we've all been waiting for, we just talked about the first two Sailor Shikiori Fountain Pen series, and we are now finally at the Sailor Shikiori Ama Oto Sound of Rain series that was just released in, at the end of the year in 2020 in Japan, and they are finally here. Finally here. It's like seven months later. We've yeah. been waiting <laughs> seven long months for them. Um, I think they came out like right before the holidays in, mm. in Japan in 2020, and we were looking at our um, hobby stationery box magazine. I still remember, mm. and we were like, wow. Those are beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like around the holidays. And now we're here and they're finally here. We're so, so happy. So the Sound of Rain Shikiori series is a little bit different from the previous Sailor Shikiori Fountain Pen series in that, um, well, in a few different ways, actually. So these actually come not with a 14K nib, but with a 21K nib. And if you guys um, have seen our previous video um, comparing 14K nibs and 21K nibs by Sailor, there's quite a large difference between how the 14K nib feels and how the 21K feels. It's just overall 21K is a lot smoother and a, a very wet writing experience. So if mm -hmm. you like a very smooth pen, the 21K is definitely superior in my opinion. Um, so these are um, coming with a 21K bi-color nib. Um, and also strictly in medium fine only. Uh, what else is different about these pens? So these pens also have different finishes than the other pens that came before them. They're all matte bodies and then the finials are transparent, mm. which I think is so pretty. The combination of yeah. the different color body and finial is so nice. I also yeah. love that there's like little kind of it's like not too obvious but very subtle like glitter detail in the transparent finials yeah um and it just makes it makes the pen almost look like it's like illuminated from the bottom because it is transparent and sparkly paired with that matte finish i think is really really gorgeous and just like a like a really cool way to change these pens up and like make them more beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, the Sailor Shikiori, you guys know this by now, Sailor Shikiori means the colors of the four, four seasons. seasons. So. so of course there are four fountain pens, each each one correlated with one of the one of the four seasons. So um, Yeah, the first one is summer, again, just like all the other ones. And wait. No. Spring. 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 It always starts in spring. <laughs> yeah, it starts in spring, just like all the other ones. I was um, like, yep. Yeah. Summer. Mm -hmm. That's how we start the year. <laughs> yeah. But the spring one is called Harusame, mm. and it's a very nice, almost like milky, transparent green. Yeah. It's got the matte body, and it has the purple and violet ends that are a little transparent. Mm -hmm. And I, I really like how this one looks. This is like one of my favorites because 
it, it really to me represents like the rain falling on the like fresh new budding flowers, the fresh little tips of like sprouts right. and buds in yeah. the spring and how the rain is like like kind of just gently falling on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like that one a lot. That one's very pretty. And then the next one is the summer. The summer. <laughs> and it's it's a it's again it's like a very dark green kind of like the like kind of like the Mono from mm -hmm, the, the very previous first series series yeah mm -hmm. and it's got the matte very kind of dark greenish blue body mm -hmm. with some like speckled glitter transparent green mm -hmm. ends and this one I I like because it's showing the rain falling on like now the very vibrant right. and grown foliage and like plants, the trees, every, everything's very alive. So that's mm -hmm. why it's a very like vibrant green. Very, to very show appropriate that. for summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. So following that, we have the latter two seasons of the year, which are fall and winter. <laughs> They're like well, going, going back to the basics here. Yeah. <laughs> so the, um, Fall pen is the Kirisame, and it has a matte sort of um, grape purple uh, barrel with, um, I want to say it's like a very light pink, transparent finials, and um, subtle shimmering glitter detail in the finials as well. It's a very pretty pen, and so this one, Kirisame, associated with the fall, it is inspired by the rainfall on the fallen leaves of the autumn, of autumn, the mm -hmm. autumn, autumn, <laughs> of autumn. Um, so that's where this kind of like dark, dark purple mm -hmm. comes from. Um, I think it's like the mixture of like the dried leaves with some of like the moist soil of the earth. Mm. Um, yeah. And then lastly, we have my personal favorite from this Sailor Shikiri Amaoto collection. It is the winter pen, um, and the name for this pen is Toll, and it means freezing rain. Um, and it is inspired by the kind of the color combinations of the freezing rain on the dried branches of the winter time. Wow. So um, once again, like that sort of very, very wintry theme and like the theme of the four seasons is very, very strong through these four pens. Um, and this pen is, it's like a pinkish purpley color um, and it's matte and it's, almost a little bit see-through in certain mm -hmm. parts of the pen because the pink and the purple are so light and that's why that's why I think it's very beautiful because you can see some parts of the pen illuminated through like if you hold it up to the light it mm -hmm. looks different um, and the finials are like sort of a transparent milky white with with uh, glitter detail mm -hmm. and it's very pretty so that's my personal favorite from the line so we're really excited that these finally arrived. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> excited for these. I think they did a really good job of translating the rain, like like showing through all of these like kind of subtly milky mm -hmm. colors. Yeah. With the transparent ends, I, I think it, it does a good job of showing the sound of rain in four seasons. Yes, well done, Sailor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching our Sailor Shiki Yori video. Hope you guys liked it and learned a little bit, not just about um, the Sailor Shiki Yori fountain pens, but about their history going back to the original inks and how they were released in 2010, which was 11 years ago. So long ago, yeah, yeah. at this point. Long history. Um, they have long history. And hopefully we, this is, this is one of our favorite Sailor series, and I would like to see much, much more from them. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so keep making more Sailor Shikiori. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.